GoDaddy has a built-in system for allowing us to share or delegate domains. This is how you maintain ownership of your domain while working with a, a content manager or a web hosting company or some third party. If they have a GoDaddy account, I'm not sure where this is going to UK, but um, if they have a GoDaddy account, what this allows you to do is delegate the domain. So I'm going to start at the beginning and walk you through to the end because for some reason this was really hard to find. So first of all, you'll notice I do have a pro account. Those are free. Google elsewhere how to get a pro account. I don't think a pro account is necessary for this feature. You're going to go down to My Domains. So go to My Domains and you'll see a list of domains that you manage. And you'll want to choose this feature right here. I don't really know why they wanted us to do card view. That seemed to be a big deal. I'm kind of curious if you go to a different, like if you go to this view, for example, and then go up under settings, you still have delegate access and manage folders. So apparently this has no impact on it whatsoever, even though GoDaddy support may tell you that you need to choose card view. So first I want to go to delegate access. So when you go to delegate access, you'll see Ellen has already been added. But all you have to do is either request access if you are a service provider or a partner. And when you hit request, the name and the email and what you're asking for. So are you asking for products and domains? Are you asking for uh, purchase power so you can use their account and their payment method to buy products? Or are you simply going to click on domains only? In most cases, that's what you're looking for, but in the event that you want to control, uh, if you want to control the, the products that GoDaddy offers like email and hosting, then you'll also want to go to products and domains. And if you want to control their ability uh, to buy those services, in other words, using the credit card stored in the profile, it doesn't let you see the credit card stored in the profile, but it does let you use that to make payments. Usually I'll let the client make their own payments. So, I've already invited to access. This is the other side, so it's accounts I can access and people who can access my account. Now, when I did this, I want to show you, I gave her access only to domains. Now, another option you could have is an account connection, and we're not going to talk about the account connection right now, okay? We're just talking about what 99% of us need to do, which is delegate access to a domain. So, I'm going to go back to products, and uh, this is actually kind of tricky, by the way. Going to products does not give you access. You'll notice this. We don't get access to, uh, to what I want to see here. I'm looking to create a folder. So, I'm going to go back to uh, here, let's see, products, home, account settings. No, nope, that's not it. Hold on. Home, domains, that's it. I'm not sure why these are in different places instead of making the nav a little bit easier, but that's what they've chosen to do. So I have a couple of domains in here, and I'm going to show you an example using Serenity Sleep Lab. This is a friend of mine's domain. So uh, you'll notice that this is probably where, let's see, that's not going to give us what we want. There we go. This is the view you want right here. And, and they move this around. It's kind of tricky. Um, I'm going to get rid of that banner to make things easier. So this, this one right here with the adjustments on it. You want to pick, uh, first of all, let's go to settings and go to manage folders. And I'm going to show you that you first want to edit all domains. So that person, after you get them to sign off and you give them permission, do you want this individual to control every domain that you manage? Probably not. Or do you want to give them explicit access to one domain? So you'll notice on the all domains folder, I turned off management access and I turned off transfer access. Okay? You can turn that on and they would have total control over everything in your domains, which means they could take your domains away from you. I typically don't ask for that kind of power and I don't encourage people to give it to people. So we're going to cancel that out leave it like it was, and you'll notice that Ellen, in this case, we have her that everything in her uh, directory, we're going to have management access turned on, I have transfer access turned off. 
She doesn't need that control and power. There's no reason to give it to her, okay? This way, the person that owns the domain gets to continue owning the domain. They own and control the domain, but they're delegating access to point that domain where it needs to go. And other services like setting up Google email services, that kind of thing, are super easy. Now, what a lot of people will do is they'll pass around passwords, let people have access. That's fine if you really trust people, sure. Except that's a terrible idea because when things go wrong, I know in my case, I don't want to get blamed when you forget to renew your domain or you accidentally transfer it to a scam artist or something, right? So I'm going to go back, again, go back to domains. I'm going to go to all domains. I want to view in this view. This is the view over here on the right side. I'm going to pick the, uh, the domain, this one right here. I'm going to click on organize, add it to a domain, I'm going to check the folder I want to add it to, and now Ellen is going to have access to control that domain. That's it, guys. Super simple. So when this domain gets transferred to the proper owner, it should not be my domain. This is a friend's domain. When I transfer it to her controlling account, I'm going to teach her how to do this inside of GoDaddy, and that's going to empower Ellen to run her services, including DNS management to add C names or text uh, entries to the domain, as well as uh, Google requirements for analytics. I hope that's helpful. Feel free to share this video with anyone. If it changes, let me know and I'll make an updated video.